Hello YouTube, it's uh, Mason Sushi here again. Um, I want to just uh, make a quick video uh, today and talk about some of the people that I like watching on YouTube. Um, I have to apologize for my throat, I'm just getting over a cold. Um, <clears throat> but I have about 12 people I kind of just want to mention. Um, you know, I, everyone has their favorites, you know, and there's tons of people. I have a, a huge uh, uh, list of people I do watch, but there's a few of them, about 12, like I said, I'm going to mention that really kind of stand out to me for different reasons. And I uh, just kind of want to throw that out there. Maybe you've heard of some of them. I'm sure you have heard of some, and maybe there might be one or two you might not have heard, and you need to go check out their page. Um, I'm going to try to uh, say one or two nice things about them and the reasons I like watching them. And, uh, would also like you guys to go visit each one if possible if it's a new person for you. I have a list, there's no order to it, so I don't want you to think that I'm the first one's my favorite or anything like that. It's just a random uh, list in order. So uh, the first one is Eskilium. I found his uh, page a, a little while ago, um, actually trying to find a way to mod Genesis 2 cables and RF into uh, stereo. It was actually really cool. Um, I was thinking about it myself beforehand, I was unsure if. Um, if it was something I could do and how to do it. So um, you really need to check it out. He does a little bit of cooking and stuff on there too. So uh, definitely someone cool to check out. He also plays guitar. Um, another person I really enjoy is the Happy Console Gamer. Uh, that was another person I kind of started watching when he first put his first video, actually his teaser video out. And, <clears throat> excuse me, he uh, caught my eye on his production. It's just fantastic. The way he goes into detail. He's, he lives in Canada, I believe. Um... He's, he's just a great guy. He does respond to uh, PMs and stuff like that. So really, uh, really great guy. His, his, his page has really exploded here recently. Talks about all sorts of collections and things like that. Um, another person is uh, everyone has heard of, if you're watching me, is um, James, the, uh, James Nintendo Nerd, otherwise the Angry Video Game Nerd. Um, I watch him. I have both of his DVDs, and I probably will do a DVD thing discussing them in the future. Um, there's not much to say. He's pretty, you know, he's real well known. I love him. Great. I prefer his uh, hardware reviews more. Uh, that's just personal opinion. I love his 32X video. Need to check him out if you're one of the few that haven't seen him. Um, Low Fat Jello. Um, he does, he's the happy console gamer. He kind of started as a, a mockery. I don't say mockery, but a, a, a joke. To, you know, he drinks wine instead of where the angry gamer drinks beer. Uh, he tries to only review games that are positive and uplifting. Um, he really loves the Capcom Nintendo games like DuckTales and uh, Rescue Rangers. Um, he's kind of slowed down putting out his videos. He's um, doing his music production right now. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Starship uh, Amazing, I believe is the name of it. Uh, really good music, actually, um, if you're into game, gameish kind of music. Um, really cool. Uh, but yeah, check him out. Put him on your favorites and just... Watch his reviews when uh, when he gets the chance to put them out. Really cool stuff. Um, Luke, uh, Luke Morse One um, lives in Japan. He started off, as far as I know, he did arcade stuff. And he started doing videos touring around uh, stores in Japan. Talking about uh, different sales and like different controller prices. Things like that. Letting people here back west see what it's like to shop and do gaming in Japan really fascinating uh, really great guy has tons of videos I think it's like 400 plus videos 450 plus videos um, he did go through a little dry spell a few months back he ran into some personal issues got through them or has handled them and he's back to making videos again so check out his old ones his new ones you will not be disappointed uh, he also every once in a while does like food and drink um, review things which is kind of odd I think but it really is kind of cool to um, just see another world almost you know, from Japan. Um, MN12 Bird. Um, it's another guy actually got referenced by another reviewer. To be honest, I can't remember who referred him. Um, I did check him out, and he's really cool too. He's laid back. Uh, he does a lot of testing. He's done modding a little bit um, from what I've seen. I've watched quite a few of his videos. He posts a lot too, which is really nice. He's also a Green Day fan. Found that out just a couple weeks ago. But um, check him out. He has a different style. He kind of does off the cuff stuff. His stuff's not as, at least to me, doesn't seem as re rehearsed. That's kind of like my style. I don't 
type up what I want to say. I mean, this is the most advanced I've done, which is a little list so I don't forget a name. But other than that, I don't really write a script out. I don't edit. I don't, you know, cut the video and stuff like that. Um, pretty much just sit and talk or just show the television or the cartridge I'm reviewing. Um, you know, real basic in that area. Uh, he has a he, he has a style that I really like. <clears throat> uh, Pat the Nest Punk. He's kind of he's kind of wild actually. I really like Pat's style. He'll he'll say things and then put like little noises or things to kind of really um, uh, get what he's really thinking across. Um, he also did a hilarious video of him doing the dance aerobics, where he has the headbands and he's dancing on like the power pad or something. It was it was great. Um, you really got to watch him. Uh, he has a, a very nice large nest collection he shows in his videos. Um, uh, he had the Donkey Kong little stuffed plush, but uh, I think in a move it disappeared. So I'm keeping an eye open for one, and if I come across one, I'm going to mail it to him. Um, really cool guy. I love his videos. He needs to put out more of them more frequently. Um, Penguin Nintendo Age. Uh, Penguin, uh, I'm a member of the Nintendo H forum, and Penguin is a, another member there, and uh, he puts out very good quality videos. Uh, his most recent one, as of this recording, was uh, the Power Glove one, which was really kind of funny. Um, he also recently started posting videos of, like, he got a Nintendo tape of a repair or something. He broke up into, like, eight, nine parts. It was um, kind of fascinating to watch this guy talk about repairing a Nintendo and all this stuff. Um, he shows... He, he gets like the um the test center stuff like a big three ring binder full of all the technical specs and stuff um he has a very nice collection he he reviews and shows and different stuff so you guys need to check out uh penguin nintendo age real good guy justin pete door um pete door is another one i really like um his style again he just kind of is doing what i'm doing here just sets up the camera records nothing flashy nothing fancy he also started a second page doing Sonic um, memorabilia, which personally is not my bag, but I know there's a lot of people who are fans of Sonic that really need to check it out. Um, other than that, he does have uh, package openings, collection videos, um, different different kinds of stuff. He has a, another person who has a, a large collection they show on camera. Um, check him out. He a uh, really nice, friendly, laid-back guy. Retro Gamer 3. He... He, I really started respecting him when he first came out. He was a little, I thought he was more of a copycat, and he kind of references back to the Angry Game Nerd a little bit. Um, but he has a different style about him. Uh, I believe he's Canadian. I'm not sure, but I believe he is. Um, he has a great little intro song, an R&B type. Uh, Retro gamer, what? <laughs> anyway, um, it was it's pretty kind of catchy little tune. But he does different game reviews. Um, Another person to check out, laid back style. His stuff's more rehearsed. You could tell he has a uh, set it up to, to kind of like the uh, happy console gamer, where they have certain things where you have a certain point from A to B, and it's just not a free spoken recording, which is kind of cool. That way you get more facts and things in there. Um, Star Soldier One. Um, this is another person I found kind of recently. He has, from my understanding, a complete NES collection, uh, licensed NES set. He does show in one of his videos. Um, he also was a big fan of like the Turbo Duo, the Turbo Graphics. Um, he shows that in some of his videos. That man's wild, and I kind of like that. It, a lot of people try to be way too serious, and he just kind of like punches air, and he's real enthusiastic. Um, I think YouTube needs more people like that, where they're just kind of out there and everything. He just lays it all out there and puts tons of videos out. So um, check out Star Soldier 1. And the last person is someone I found uh, fairly recently in the past couple months. I just recently subscribed to him a little while ago. It was um, Spida One A. Um, he does Turbo Views, um, and actually, as of today, I think I ordered his DVD, which I will do a review on. Um, he's about the only exclusive Turbo Graphic 16 reviewer I'm aware of. It's a great, great voice for. Um, Reviews actually probably one of the best voices for game reviews I've heard yet on YouTube. Um, just very professional editing, very well spoken, well thought out. Great points, both positive and negative, on games. Just a great variety of games. Um, he recently is in the middle of a move again as of the recording, and so I'm hoping that he will um, be posting more videos here soon. And um, I believe that's about it. Uh, that's all twelve that's on my list. So. Um,
thanks guys check out these people um different ones have different interests and uh come back and see me